So we got lucky, this injector wasn't stuck. So this one came out pretty easily. So we're gonna take this to the bench. I'm gonna clean off this area off camera and then we're gonna install our new fuel injector. We are here at the bench. Here is our old fuel injector that we got out of cylinder one. So I'm gonna disconnect this line from the injector. So this is the old injector. And here is our brand new fuel injector from Mercedes. And this is the part number. Okay, so I'm gonna get our new injector out of the box. Now this new injector has an ID number that we have to write down and write inside the engine computer. So this number over here has to be written in the engine computer after installing the fuel injector. Okay, so I'm gonna write it down on this piece of paper. Okay, so we have A I 1 A B and then S H. Okay, so this ID number has to be written in the engine computer. So basically we have to program this injector to the engine computer for this injector to work properly, okay? We want this injector to spray the correct amount of fuel in the cylinder. And in order for this injector to do that, this ID over here has to be written in the engine computer, okay? So, we got this number written down, so that's good. Now, we're gonna install our compression washer on the bottom of our fuel injector. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit of anti-seize compound over here so that our compression washer doesn't fall when we install the injector. Now, I'm gonna put just a little bit of anti-seize compound over here on the injector body. Okay, this will help with the next removal. Okay, so next time this injector is removed, it's not going to be stuck to the cylinder head. Okay, so just like that. So now, let's take this fuel injector to the engine so we can install it. I did clean the injector orifice off camera. So now we're gonna install our brand new fuel injector. So our fuel injector is gonna go in this way. We have to make sure that our compression washer is still there, okay? So just like that, and now we're gonna insert our injector hold down bolt. Now this bolt, you have to make sure you start it by hand first, okay? Because the last thing you wanna do is cross threading this. So I'm gonna get it snug and then we're gonna torque it. We're gonna torque this bolt down to 110 inch pound. So now I'm gonna grab my torque wrench. My torque wrench is set up to 110 inch pound. So we're gonna torque this injector bolt to 110 inch pound. So right there, I hope you heard the torque wrench click. Our injector bolt has been torqued down to 110 inch pound. So now we're gonna install our high pressure tube. So we're gonna install this line. We're just gonna push it down. And 
and then lock this. So just like that, our return line is installed. I'm gonna try to pull it out just a little bit to make sure it's sitting well. So that's good. So now I'm gonna install our high pressure line. All right, so we have tightened the high pressure tube. So now I'm going to reconnect the electrical connector of the injector. Okay, so we're good. We have replaced the injector on cylinder one. As you can see, we have a brand new injector over here on cylinder one. So now I'm going to replace the injectors on cylinder four and five, okay? So these two injectors over here have to be replaced. And I'm gonna replace these injectors off camera. I'm gonna remove this bracket so I can get access to these two injectors, okay? It's the same process. The way I removed this injector is gonna be the same way I'm gonna remove those two injectors, okay? I'm gonna get those injectors replaced off camera and then I'll bring you guys back up. I have replaced all the injectors I replaced the injectors on the driver's side off camera. So now let's go in the vehicle and write the injectors QR code in the engine computer. And after that, we're gonna take this vehicle for a test drive. So now let's go in the vehicle and program the injectors. I'm going to turn the key on. I have the scan tool connected to the vehicle. And I have my piece of paper here where I wrote all my new injector IDs. So this is the injector ID of cylinder one. I'm gonna show you how to do the first injector and then I'll do the other one off camera. I mean the other two injectors I will do off camera. I'm sorry for the glare. We're gonna go to the engine computer. We're gonna go to functional test. We're gonna go to special functions. We're gonna go to injector programming. Okay, so we're gonna write right here. We're gonna write the QR code of the new injector in the engine computer. Okay, so if you look at these codes over here, look at the code of the first injector. It says AAAA5G. Okay, so we're gonna take this number over here, this number, and write it over here. Okay where injector one is. So we're gonna go to edit. Okay, so new ID. So our new ID is A as in Apple, I as in India, one, A as in Apple, B as in boy, S as in Sam, H as in house. Okay, so right here, AI1ABSH, and this is what we have here, AI1ABSH. Okay, so everything looks good. We're going to click OK, we're going to press the OK button over here, at the corner here. Okay, so now we're going to press Program. 
programming successful. Okay, so that's good. Now we have this number written in the engine computer. Okay, so this number over here is now in the engine computer. So we have programmed the first injector. Okay, so we're good to go. All right. I'm going to program the other one. I'm going to grab the other piece of paper where I wrote the ID of the other two injectors. I'm going to program the last two injectors and after that I'm going to bring you guys back up so we can verify our repair. Okay? We're going to start the engine and test drive the vehicle and after that I'm sure our misfire is going to be gone. I'm going to program the last two injectors and then I'll bring you guys back up. I'm done programming all the injectors. As you can see, we got all our QR codes written in the engine computer. So I did write the QR codes of the new injectors on a piece of paper. So this was the QR code of cylinder 5, and this is cylinder 4. And if we look over here, cylinder 4. Our QR code is 8TRIB1H and this is it right here okay so we're good to go we have programmed all the new injectors okay so now we can back out okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine let's start the engine and see if it's gonna run better I'm gonna cycle the key. So if we made the right call, this engine should run smoothly. So the engine is running, as you can hear. Let's go under the hood and see what we got. Oh, this sounds better. The engine is really smooth. It's no longer shaking. This is awesome. This is fixed, guys. The engine sounds a lot better. It's smooth. It's no longer misfiring. So this is great. We got a fix. As you can see, the engine is no longer shaking. Okay. So I'm going to get the vehicle off the lift so we can take this on a test drive. I got the vehicle off the lift and I still have my scan tool connected to the vehicle. So now let's go on a test drive. So as you can hear, the engine sounds good. That sounds perfect. So now, let's see. Let's drive and see how this baby drives. Man, this engine sounds great. It's no longer misfiring. Before, this engine was shaking like crazy. We are driving. The vehicle now has a lot of power. The engine is no longer misfiring. Everything looks good on the dash. So this is fixed, okay? I feel comfortable delivering this back to the driver. Okay, so this van is fixed. This van had bad fuel injectors. We replaced three fuel injectors. Now the van is fixed. The van is no longer misfiring. So all is well. We're good to go. Okay. I'm going to drive back to the shop. And when I get to the shop, I'll bring you guys back up so we can wrap up this video. So this is fixed, guys. Okay. So the engine is no longer misfiring. We are good to go. All right, guys, we are back at the shop. 
this vehicle is fixed let's go under the hood and listen to the engine for one last time before we wrap up this video So as you can hear, the engine sounds great, the engine is not shaking, listen to this, this engine runs beautifully. So this is fixed guys. So now let's go back in the vehicle and turn off the engine. Let's scan the engine computer one last time before we wrap up this video. Let's see if we have any trouble codes in the engine computer. So I'm gonna turn off the engine. I'm gonna turn the key back on. I'm gonna bring up my scan tool. So we're gonna go to scanner. I started this video with an Autel scan tool. Now I'm using my Snap-on scan tool. There is no reason why I chose to finish the video with this tool. I'm using this tool now because the battery of my Autel tool is dead, so that's why. So let's go to codes. As you can see, we got no trouble codes in the engine computer. No codes present, okay? So this is good, guys. This is fixed. We got no codes. I'm gonna start the engine one last time. As you can see, the engine sounds great. We don't have any trouble codes in the engine computer. No misfire codes. We're good to go. This is fixed. So now let's wrap up this video. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this right over here. This sprinter van is fixed. The problem on this sprinter was three defective injectors. After replacing the injectors, now the engine is no longer misfiring. The vehicle has power and all is well. So the vehicle is fixed. Now, I wanna mention something about the relative compression test that I did earlier. This test is now 100% accurate. So if you're gonna go ahead and do this test, you have to make sure that you take a close listen to the engine. And if you have other tests to do, to make sure that you don't have a mechanical problem, please go ahead and do that because if you just rely on a relative compression test, you can be burnt by it sometimes, okay? So I listened to the engine. We saw the voltage drop across the scope pattern. That pretty much told me that we didn't have a mechanical problem. That's why we moved on to checking the fuel injectors, okay? So I wanna make sure that I point that out. Don't just rely on your relative compression test, okay? And one more thing I did off camera. I didn't see the need of showing it to you. I did do a fuel quality test off camera. I wanted to make sure that the fuel we have in the tank is good fuel. Now, if we had a fuel quality problem, it was going to affect all the cylinders, not just three cylinders. Okay, so this is why I didn't see the need of showing it to you. Of course, the fuel quality test passed. We have good fuel in the tank. And then I continued with replacing the other injectors. Okay, so make sure you check your fuel quality if you're having misfires on these sprinter vans. Okay, because contaminated fuel can also cause this problem. So I'm going to leave this right over here. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.